Okay, so you've probably seen these before, and foam rollers. So, the physiotherapists are always saying, oh, you should like foam roll things. So basically you're meant to kind of like put a particular part of your body, so, you know, often like the thighs or the IT band, your spine, and you know, basically like foam roll it like this. It's like, you know, whatever, some sort of massage. And I'm, I'm sure it has some benefits, but you know, the, the whole idea is missing so much. It's, it's such a physical approach uh, and just, just so narrow. It's like this idea that, okay, there's this muscle, right? And the muscle is tight. Therefore, we're going to imagine that it's like dough and you can like, kind of like smooth it out and the muscle becomes like this smooth muscle and then the muscle is loose. But I, I think that concept <laughs> for most people is pretty much garbage because even though you've taken a physical material and, you know, smudged it <laughs> out or something or like physically kind of like changed the shape of it, like it's still has a nervous system like running through it that controls the tension. So even though you just the same as tension uh, stretching, like just because you pull on it and change the shape of it, yeah, that's great. But your, your mind controls the, the overall layout of your musculoskeletal system. So it's going ultimately to be temporary. Um, so instead of doing the typical thing for the spine, Right, which is kind of like, oh, okay, we're gonna foam roll here, okay? We're gonna foam roll. Or sometimes there's kind of like, okay, do an exercise like this, which is, you know, kind of cool, it has its merits, that one. Instead of doing that, what I like to do, and I think it's whew, just miraculous, really, I just absolutely love it, is I'll lie over it. Okay. So you can put it anywhere. Like, you can literally put it anywhere, like, put it anywhere. Um, sometimes you hear advice like, oh, don't put it on the lower back though. You put it on the lower back. Well, you'll break your whole spine. Like, your lower back is not meant for anything. Don't twist it, don't bend it, don't put any force on it. Just completely blot it out of your life and never use it or think about it and it'll be safe. That's like the mainstream thinking about the lower back. I so say, you can put it anywhere. You know, a good, good position like, might be like right at the base of the thoracic, like the, in the top of the lumbar. And just lay over it like this. And put your arms just oh, like that. And your legs all the way out there. Okay, so find your position. I'll just come up to explain. And then, basically, just lay there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes something like that and just get into a meditative state and just stay there and that'll be the bulk of what you do like if you just did that 20 minutes 30 minutes and just like really really do physical meditation and just like go into your body and just explore and you can kind of like shuffle around a little bit and just start to feel things and and change the the distribution of pressure from here to there and all sorts of stuff like this, just be very playful and creative with what you're doing. And if you could add one extra little thing to it, which is a kind of a complicated thing, um, would be that when you're, in the, when you're in the position, okay, this will be difficult to explain, so just like, give me some, give me a moment here. So, you can see here that in the middle is this, and on one side is your legs and pelvis, I suppose. And on the other side is this. So what you can do is you can try to lift your leg off the ground, right? But you're not trying to actually lift it off. You're just trying to, you just like push as if you're um, decreasing the amount of weight that is actually kind of like pushing on the ground. So, you know, like when you have something sitting on something, there's the entire weight of it, right? You can kind of like use your 
muscles to just sort of like lift half of it, like, like take half the load off. So you might just like lift up those legs so that they're still completely touching, but you're using your musculoskeletal system like hip flexors and all that sort of stuff to just lift up about 20% or something like that. Right, so just even, you know, you start with just 1%, just like 1% just push. You're like just thinking like, okay, I want my legs to move up, but don't actually create any move, movement. And you can do that up to, you can, you can do that all, all the way up to 100% if you like, but you will notice just as you do 10%, 20% uh, by yourself without actually creating any movement, you will experience internal intramuscular movement and like a, a reconfiguring of the muscles in your body. So you can do it with your legs pushing up and you can also do it at the other side with your head. So you can imagine you're trying to get your face to move upward, but you're not actually lifting it off. And you can lift it off, right? But it's not necessary to lift, lift it off. Like you, the, the less you use, the less energy you put into it in a way it's kind of kind of like the better because like you'll focus more on like quality of how you're doing it and control and eventually if you kind of practice that a lot and get this really nice control then I, i'll bet you can start to do really nice complete raises like starting from a very nice foundational uh high quality you know base of how you control the movement internally um, okay, so try that out. You don't have to do the second part if you don't want, but like get a thing and it doesn't even have to be this and put it under your spine and just lay there and like experience this new position that you don't normally experience and just lay there and meditate into the bliss zone and just see what happens and it'll be pretty good. Okay, see you in the next one.